In chapter 6, I'll be covering multiple regression. Using the trend function, you can predict values for one variable with predictor values from multiple variables. So I want to predict visits per capita with both expenditures and circulation per capita to see if both variables together are better predictors of visits than either one alone. You can see that there is a linear relationship between visits and both variables, as well as a strong correlation, 0.71 and 0.77 respectively. So using the trend array function, I'm going to start with predicting each variable alone and then both variables together. So I'm going to start by highlighting the entire range equals trend. Select the known y's. Select the known x's. Hold down control and shift and then push enter. That way the function is treated as an array. And then I'm going to do the same thing for circulation. Highlight the range equals trend known y's, comma, known x's, control, shift, enter. And now I'm going to do the same thing for both variables. So highlight the range equals trend. Select the known y's, comma, and this time I'm going to select both expenditures per capita and circulation for the known x's. Control, shift, enter. And now I need to calculate r, or the correlation coefficient, for the two variables. And to do that, you just use the corral function. Select the first array, comma, select the second, and push enter. And you can see it's much higher than using either predictor alone. And also want to look at R squared, which is the percentage of shared variance, and ultimately tells me the usefulness of the regression equation in predicting values. Point five zero. Drag this down here. Point six zero and point six eight. So I will talk more about R squared later on. For now, no. For now, though, just know that anything above point five is good. Thanks for watching.